borrowing a page right out of the Paris Hilton uh, blinged out playbook. Some children of privilege have been flaunting their luxurious lifestyles on late, online lately. Shocking. Our wealth editor Robert Frank joins us now with a story of excess that crosses over into obnoxious. Robert. Thanks, Michelle. Well, a new Tumblr blog gives us a peek into the privileged world of rich kids, but it's also generating a wealth of controversy. The site is called the Rich Kids of Instagram. It features pictures of kids partying on their yachts, lounging on their private jets, and driving their Ferraris. There's one picture of a guy pouring Dom Perignon into his friend's head. Another shows four college girls boarding a helicopter to Saint-Tropez. There are lots of bikinis, lots of champagne, lots of gold watches. One photo shows a bar receipt of $42,000. Now, some might say that this is harmless fun. It's all part of our fascination with the Silver Spoon set and back to Paris Hilton. The problem here is just how clueless many of these, t these rich kids have become. Millions of Americans are unemployed. Our government's in crisis, and yet these feel these kids feel it's okay to show their wealth and their hundred pairs of designer shoes. Now, some of these pr photos have proven a bit too much. One photo showed Michael Dell's son enjoying a breakfast buffet on their private jet to Fiji. The photo was removed, and so was his daughter's Twitter feed. I'm guessing Michael Dell wasn't all that happy with all that oversharing. Bill, Michelle? Yes, I would think not. Robert, thank He's you very much. He's got to be mortified. Mortified. We, what was shocking, we disagree so on something again. I mean, Robert, parents have a role here, right? I'm not advocating well, government interference or anything else, but you should teach your children to have some parents yeah, appreciation. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. There's a morality issue here, but there's also some macro forces. Look, we have the rise of technology and social media, combined with the fact that we have a record number of kids today inheriting a record amount of wealth from their baby boomer parents right. who grew okay. up middle class. And so these two things, are, we're going to see more and more of this. Don't move, because we brought in a psychologist to help us solve this problem because indeed it is a problem, Bill. Many wealthy children that simply don't know the value of money because they've always had it and never had to earn it. Joining us now? Clinical psychologist Wendy Walsh uh, with more on the struggle that parents with means have when raising their kids. I'm going to tell you up front, Wendy, I, my thinking is they're kids. They're not hurting anybody. And if we all had that kind of wealth, we'd flaunt it as well. What's the, what, what, what's the problem here? I hope you wouldn't. Don't you remember the adage, money talks, but wealth whispers? And this kind of ostentation, is, I should certainly tell you right off, that not all these kids on Instagram are that rich. And a lot of these pictures are photoshopped, or they just happen to see a private jet, so they run and take a picture quickly. So what it's doing, though, is telling the average teen that somehow this is the norm, or this is something they should strive for. And so obviously, the, so you suddenly they become role models. They have to be role models. There's a responsibility now that with wealth now you're a role model and you can't you have to act in such a way that you don't give a false impression to people who don't have wealth of what the wealthy lifestyle I is like I think all parents are role models, or should be. And in fact, one of the best tips that I can give for parenting kids of, of any income, families of any income level, is to mo model altruism. If you're a middle class family or a lower middle class family that chipes out, talks about the price of everything, or brags about the price of everything, even if it's a $50 rug from Target, then this is the message that your kids are getting, that this is part of your value system, this is part of your identity. If you instead, uh, model uh, some degree of reservation, but also complimenting people on their intelligence and their emotions and their accomplishments more right. than their... How about something, uh, something far point. more simple? Lots and lots of people are out of work. There are children who worry about their parents, about having enough. Look, and to see I photos, was, see I, wealthy people pouring Dom Perignon on a pal's head is unseemly I and was disgusting. told that I had to clean my plate back in the 1950s right. and 60s because there were kids starving in Europe. Yes. I mean, come on. But, 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 this is I was told they were starving for, for in years. China, well, but yeah, West same Virginia, difference. wherever, you know. Look, the other issue here is that, you know, Michael Dell is a very reserved, practical guy. I'm sure he's been a great parent. I'm sure he's done all the things that our, our guest was talking about. He's also the CEO of a publicly traded company, and then he is a role model, and that one doesn't have any response. There is a responsibility there. I'm talking about the kids who are just rich and showing it off because my, they can. Yeah, but my point is, you know, kids are going to reflect the environment that they grow up in at home, but also what their friends are doing. You can't say to these kids, look, you can't 
you know, be involved in social media. You can't tweet. You can't go on Tumblr. You can't do all these things that all your friends do because you have money. I mean, that's not going to work. If kids are growing up Should in a certain environment, the, the problem is they, they grow up Actually, in, a, in a wealth bubble, and they don't know what the rest of the country is like. Parents have obligations. I disagree. Obligations. Go ahead, Wendy. Go ahead, Wendy. I disagree. I think that now we're talking about something different than just showing wealth, but also what are the social rules for using social media? And that right. starts very young. If your kids are on Facebook at 10 and 11 and 12, as mine were, then that's a great training time. That's a time when you're watching every new friend request and you're approving. So you're teaching them the social consequences. It's very important that parents always follow their kids on Twitter, that they always follow them on Facebook, and that there will be repercussions if they post something. Look at it this way. Would you let your kid walk down Broadway or 42nd Street in New York with a megaphone screaming at the world and go, oh, I don't want to look at that. That's private. That's his private business. No. And this is more public okay. than that. So parents need to be involved. Guys, thank you so thank much. You.